Hello people, it's Cole. Today we'll be flipping through this wonderful, super fun, vintage issue of Nickelodeon Magazine. This issue is from November 2003, and I had to get it because it has Hilary Duff blowing a pink bubblegum bubble on the cover. What could be more quintessentially Y2K fun than that, right? I'm here for you every week with a vintage magazine flip through, so stay right here with me. And let's get started. Okay, so on the cover, there's another cover, which is this paper kind of promotional cover to give a lucky kid the perfect holiday gift of a, a year subscription to Nickelodeon magazine. Can you imagine being so lucky? We have SpongeBob promoting our little gift wrapped one, <laughs> several issues there, including the, uh, I, I had this issue. <laughs> this is April of 2003, maybe. It's like the Kids' Choice Worth issue. Uh, I can see Jennifer Lopez peeking out right there. So this cover is not that cute, but this one <laughs> is what it's all about. So this issue, November 2003, is uh, is the the pets issue every issue of Nickelodeon magazine has a a theme in addition to whatever that pet theme is going to be Hillary Duff pops up in cheaper by the dozen the movie <laughs> which I've never seen that movie before is that has anyone ever seen it is it good I don't know uh, Hillary looks beautiful uh, as ever on the cover here she's, she's like blowing a, a pink bubblegum bubble, but I have to say, surely that is like an actual, like a balloon, right? That does not look like real gum at all. Uh, it's, it's definitely, she's holding a pink, almost deflated balloon in her mouth and then like <laughs> rolling her eyes. <laughs> That's the cover girl right there. Okay, let's get started. Starting off right away with a double page verb, it's what you do, ad. This was like a ad campaign to like encourage athletics and like going outside and being active and not just laying around and reading Nickelodeon magazine all day. There's a sweepstakes over here that's like operation themed. Um, Operation, I, I hope you know, is a board game, right? There's a sweepstakes to pick the, a new ailment for Sam, who is this sort of genderless nude person that you do the operations on. We can do a, a brain freeze. We can do tennis elbow or growling stomach, which they're all stupid. <laughs> the, I guess I like the brain freeze because that would also make a cute little piece because you know, you're pulling out those little white pieces that with the tweezers and the ice cream cone. That'd be cute, right? Okay, over here we have some DVDs. DVD ad for what's new Scooby-Doo in the Space ape at the Cape. He's like in, he's an astronaut, okay? And it's sort of like Halloween-y. Oh, I guess this would have come out like pre-Halloween um, in 2003, so it's a little, maybe we'll see some couple of little Halloween-y, late Halloween-y things popping up throughout this magazine, who knows? And then over here, we are getting welcomed to the pets issue. Choco Donuts, Captain Crunch? Oops. It's, a, it's an accident. Oops, Choco Donuts. The captain, or the cap'n, if you will, is uh, holding a chocolate trophy full of these ugly little turdy Choco Donuts with um, multicolored sprinkles on them. And then here's some competing children. Very athletic, all of, the, all of this stuff so far. Lots of sports activities in this magazine. These hyper kids ate all the cereal and they're um, sticking their tongues out and going for a winning chocolatey taste. This girl's pigtails are like, like little dice blocks or something, which is like, that's so cute. <laughs> I love that. 
All right, the celeb page, we are have some mini interviews with some celebs of 2003 that children might know, <laughs> like Tyra Banks. Would you rather have a sibling or a pet? My brother had tropical fish that used to eat each other. I wouldn't trade him for one of those. Sounds like they weren't being fed, Tyra. Why would they eat each other? Is that a thing? Also, we have Reese Witherspoon chiming in on pet stuff. What's your favorite pet name? She has three dogs, and they're all her favorite pet names. I kind of hate these. It's like kind of cringy, but okay. So the names are Frank Sinatra, Chichi Rodriguez, and my puppy, a French poodle named Coco Chanel. Okay. <laughs> that's, I wonder if that's she still has those dogs. That couldn't be possible. This is almost 20 years old, <laughs> so never mind. Here's some pet gags, short, dumb jokes about pets. Car why cartoon pets are better. Uh, they wear white gloves. <laughs> Can't keep them away from a good mystery. We already saw Scooby-Doo in action. And then over here are some fake pets that your parents might give you to fool you, like a, an obese yellow snake, which is a banana, or a, a stick bug, which is a stick. <laughs> Or a slug, which is chocolate pudding on a rock. Which is, like, so gross. Or f a, a bunch of fleas. A flea circus, which is coffee grounds in your hand. I guess, I mean, I'd rather have chocolate pudding and coffee than actual bugs in my home. So that, that's fine. Oh, boy. Ooh. Rugrats all grown up. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Tommy with his purple Stu Pickles hair, Angelica with her purple eyelashes and her mean pointy girl eyes like, like her mom has, right? And then Susie, um, she's got like the same, I guess they're all wearing clothes that reference their original kind of baby outfits, right? Chucky's got long hair, uh, what's her face? Kiki, Kimmy, Kimmy, <laughs> it's Kimmy. <laughs> <laughs> and Phil. Lil. We don't. We got no Lil here. She's absent. I guess there's already enough girls around. I, I don't know. I, I say the more the better. Okay, so this is quite interesting. We have some perforated paper here that would be for. They're like. What is this? Cards? Like collector's cards? For a movie called The Haunted Mansion, which I kind of don't, not very familiar with that. Um, <laughs> it's an Eddie Murphy movie. He's the guest right here in this card. We have the butler, the clairvoyant, the bride. That's cool. She's like dematerializing and her face is obscured by this veil. I like that. And the guard, which is a... Uh, coat of armor type guy you know haunted houses always have those in the hallway holding up that big axe that like falls and <laughs> almost chops you i don't know i does anyone ever seen this movie before i it sounds vaguely familiar to me i guess this is more like halloween stuff popping up i guess we'll continue to see that throughout on the backs of that is sort of more information about each of the characters like their actual names the bride is named Elizabeth. She'll wait a lifetime, even if it kills her. This is uh, how they came to be tame. This is more, more pet stuff. We're talking about actual pets, like sort of iconic, regular pets we would expect to see in a family home, and how they came to be... Uh, Domesticated, I guess. So what's... I guess I'd, I would be specifically curious about something like a guinea pig, right? We're starting off with the guinea pig here, since that doesn't seem to have much of a function, unlike a dog or a cat, which is sort of a little bit more... provides some kind of utility. What is a guinea pig all about? Oh, interesting. That's very interesting. So, like... 
I guess this is probably the only example of a pet that was became domesticated as like a like a family pet um because it was like a source of food <laughs> it says that they were eaten they were like raised as sort of like a livestock ancient south americans sort of domesticated them and raised them as a a source of food meat you know cuz they're fat and they're they're a pig, right? Guinea pig. It's like a pig. It's like it's like a pet pig that you can eat. It's kind of grim, but that's that's I guess that's that. Over here, Lisa Frank. Wow, great. Monkeys see, monkey don't. So these monkey girls with monkey heads are in the background all looking you know, the same with their monkey overalls <laughs> and their barrettes <laughs> and their monkey hair. But this Miss Lisa Frank Jr. stands out in her tie-dye t-shirt with a corduroy lime green wrap skirt and purple tights and pink shoes and her Lisa Frank backpack. And she has like twisty little buns there with a bunch of butterfly clips all up in them obviously and there's a little there's a little quote right here lisa's art lets you express yourself being yourself creates individuality girls who think and act for themselves lisa's colorful designs have many feelings too you can feel happy or feel pretty or just feel good but most of all you can have fun just being yourself that's so cute <laughs> i love that be yourself, not an imitation. And then down here, there's some Lisa Frank dolls, which I've never heard of that before. You're way cool, the doll is saying. Kind of funny, maybe a little funny with um, the idea of like, don't be an imitation or like, don't be fake, but also like a doll is like mass produced and by, by necessity, like an imitation and, and a fake and like a copy of something of each other, they're all the same. We won't think too hard about that, but, you know, we all love Lisa Frank, so. <laughs> More Haunted Mansion stuff. But it's a game. Wow, this movie must have been like a real flop. <laughs> two ads now for two different Haunted Mansion, like, things one game one movie free movie pass inside the game and i still had never heard of it before yikes Ooh! oh, 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 oh. oh my god cool trading spaces boys versus girls <gasps> you could win the totally insane room of your dreams plus the latest and greatest toys from hasbro oh my god Cool, what is this? So I guess that was like a kid's show that was happening. I'd never heard of that. I I mean, I, I used to watch Trading Spaces. I I never heard of Trading Spaces Boys vs. Girls. It was like a spin-off series with, where kids, I guess, were making decisions or, or something. It was on Discovery Kids, uh, which I didn't, we didn't have that when I was growing up. So this is the boy room, by the way. I mean, I guess if we're gonna... Maybe we need to talk a little bit about the gender divide thing that they have done here. This is the boy room. It's like funky, kind of mod, funky, Y2K look. Um, the girl room is glam, Y2K look. These are both era appropriate. It's kind of, I don't know, I guess they could have pushed it more over the top with like the stereotypical gender stuff, so it's not so bad. Um, but like, makeup like a makeup vanity I, I really don't think that this girl is wearing a stitch of makeup juicy fruit ad this looks so gross strappleberry strawberry apple yuck <laughs> also grape or melon ugh those like big enlarged pores on that strawberry. Oh, and it's like soaking wet. Ew. 
Okay, so we're moving into the comic book. Nickelodeon Magazine always has a little, little comic book. This is Thanksgiving themed. We have some Puritans here in stocks and they're laughing at some comics. We have this nice thick comic paper, different paper style than the rest of the magazine. Love that. Ooh, Kid Cuisine. Build your own snowman with cookie dough and sprinkles? Whoa, <laughs> what? <gasps> oh my god. This penguin mascot. Cookie dough. I've never heard of that before in a kid's frozen meal. Snowman shaped mac and cheese with, with cookie dough that you make in the microwave, but then it's raw? Sick. We also have holiday fun nuggets, which are reindeer shaped, with some pudding with sprinkles, and more more nuggets, polar bear fish nuggets this time, with looks like I don't know what that's supposed to be right there. It's like pasta or something, corn, and then a chocolate penguin. SpongeBob comic. That was advertised on the on the cover here. It's uh it's kind of interesting. It has um a different illustration style than the show, right? So it's a little bit more kind of sketchy and like chalky or something. Like it's not as clean of a line art, which I kind of like that. It makes it be like obviously still SpongeBob, but kind of not canonical to the Spongebob universe, you know? Makes that like immediately clear. The poop on pets were, again with the poop, more poop stuff. There's always gotta be so much poop and fart stuff in these Nickelodeon magazines. We're talking, it's not even about poop at all. It's just about like little pet, like mini articles. Things like, why do birds like mirrors? Because they think that it's another bird and that they have like a companion, which is like, it's like kind of sad, right? <laughs> Assuming your bird like lives alone. It's kind of sad. Talking about dogs, why do dogs bury bones, or like where that idea comes from. That's about uh, like when dogs were wolves and they would bury like bones that from animals that they killed that they could dig up later and eat the marrow out of. Like if there was a lean hunting time or whatever and they were starving, they could like eat the rotted marrow out of these bones that they dug in or they bury in the ground <laughs> that they could sniff out. It's not very cute, but that's, you know, these are animals we're talking about here. Here's our Hollywood Harvest, the Nick Mag movie guide, our Hillary Duff uh, article or uh, interview that we were promised is happening. Cheaper by the dozen. Here we go. Steve Martin is her dad, and I think Bonnie Hunt is the mom, right? Yeah. Ooh, they live in Chicago. Oh, I didn't know that. Set in Chicago. Okay. You know, she she's like plays the daughter of a family of a large family in the movie, right? So it's asking questions about uh, her sister. Hilary Duff only has one sister, who is Haley Duff, of course, and how they are very close. Ooh, so we're we're transitioning into some more questions, not about the movie, thankfully, because I don't really care about this movie, but about Hilary herself, which I do care about. Your CD is called Metamorphosis. How have you changed recently? Hillary says, I'm growing up and trying to be a good person who makes good choices, and I'm getting a little thicker skin. Okay. 
Is it strange to be famous? Hillary says, very. You never think about what losing your anonymity is going to be like. Even now, when I'm doing singing and a lot of people show up, I wonder who they're there to see. Hmm. What's good and bad about fame? She says, the best thing is all the great experiences and the people I get to meet. The worst thing is that people are always staring at me. Okay, sounds kind of horrible. <laughs> it's just... Sounds like a prison. <laughs> the haunted mansion again. A third haunted mansion thing. They tried so hard. Okay. Jennifer Tilly is in, I guess, this movie, which is... Maybe I should see it, because I, I love her. She's a psychic. Oh, she's the psychic for the haunted mansion. Okay. I guess she, like, lives inside of a crystal ball, so that's kind of... In the movie, that's just what she's doing, which I guess is, you know, she's got a great voice, but I would sure love to see the whole package. So, I don't know. I Maybe you just take what you can get with a movie like that. Here's a November calendar, all right. I'm gonna need to scoot over to see this. November is National Healthy Skin Month. Okay, that's why we have this big skin swatch up here. By the age of 70, the average person will have shed more than 100 pounds of skin. Gross. Condoleezza Rice, National Security Advisor. <laughs> <laughs> was born in 1954 on November 14th. Did she have a national security blanket? All right. About 70% of household dust is made up of dead skin cells. I know that. I knew that to be true, which is why in my bedroom, where I am here, there's always like way disproportionately more dust on the ground here, like when we vacuum in here, versus like anywhere else in the house, which is crazy because... This room is really small. It's from sleeping in here and the skin, the 100 pounds of skin, <laughs> just dusting off all night long is disgusting. Crazy Mix will turn you loco. This is like some candy, like liquid or something. Uh, sour green apple flavor, but um, this is supposed to be. Hey, you're supposed to see hidden words in here. Oh, it's like a magic eye. I was never able to do those, although I haven't tried in so long. Let's try. I'm gonna give this a spin and see if I can do it. I think you're supposed to let your eyes cross, right? So let's see that. <laughs> I can't see it. I don't know. Can you tell what it says? I'm trying to see if I can tell on the monitor here. I guess we'll never know. What a bummer. I don't know. Could you guys? I can't do these things. I never could do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was the last page. This is the back cover here. Finding Nemo. On DVD, those seagulls. And then here's that paper paper cover there with SpongeBob on a rope swing for some reason. $1.99 per issue. What a bargain. Now in the back, <laughs> Nick Jr. Blues Clues, where you can like, oh boy. Surely you're familiar with this type of thing. Right, where you can like have there's like a it's like a birth like a, it could be like a birthday thing or like a specialized thing. It's a video that's created where there's like a blank head spot, and you like send in the picture of your child like a little cute little headshot like that, and then they superimpose the head throughout the whole video. So it's like you're in the video with the characters, and then they 
you just see yourself like moving sort of unblinking around the screen interacting with this whole thing and i guess it even speaks your name like there would be like a voiceover somehow so for example in this case look everyone said periwinkle billy, billy. and billy is written like in different text so it's gonna sound like a like a robot saying it i'm sure billy is here this is going to be the best pajama party ever blue is excited to see magenta periwinkle and so many of her favorite friends especially billy well let's uh let's end on a more attractive note hmm yes all right there you have it nickelodeon magazine november 2003 <laughs> Well, I hope you liked that flip through, and if you did like it, give it a like. It really helps me out if you do. Uh, also, I have a little, big little announcement <laughs> to make, which is that I started an Etsy store. Uh, it's called Cute Magazines, and I sell cute magazines. A lot of these magazines, most of them, are things that I've flipped through on this channel before in, in past videos. I'll continue posting you know, new magazines for sale on that store as I continue making new videos. That'll be linked below, so check it out if you're interested. I will see you all next week with another new video. So until then, take care.